Bako. Today, I'm going to teach you how to shoot your ovality and your taper in your cylinder board using a snap gauge and your mic on. The first thing you want to do is take your snap gauge, place it down for your taper. You're going to start at the top of your cylinder. Place it in there, make sure you got it as level as possible. Lock it down and pull it out. After you pull it out, you'll take your mic armor and you'll make sure that it's zeroed out. Open it up. And then you're going to measure from in to in. And right now, we're sitting about at 37. Right there. About 37. And that will be the top of this cylinder that I just measured. To get your total taper, you'll measure in the middle. And then also at the bottom. And then... And then you subtract them. Subtract them and then you get your total taper for that cylinder. Now, to test your ovality, you're going to take your snap gauge again. You're going to place it in the cylinder the same way you did the first time. You're going to pull it out. You're going to measure it. Once you measure it, which it was 37, you're going to unlock your snap gauge and you're going to place it in directly 90 degree difference. So you're going to make like a cross pattern inside the cylinder. Once you get it in there, you lock it down, pull it out, the same thing. You grab your micrometer. Please excuse us for technical difficulty. And you're going to measure it. And here, as you can see, we got 30. You subtract, you uh, take the two numbers, you subtract them from each other, you got a 37 and a 30. And then, so that leaves you with 7, and that's your difference in your ovality. Again, today, for educational purposes, I did not pull out all of the cylinders to measure all three measurements of the taper and to do all the cylinder bores. But that is how you use your snap gauge and your micometer to measure for ovality and taper and so forth. Thank you.